Hey everyone, this is Akbarfan13. I know I haven't done any videos recently, and the only two reasons for that is Star Wars Weekends, which is actually over. I think they've only got one more week, weekend, and then school coming up to the end of the year, and that's also over for the whole summer. So starting hopefully today, this week, I'm going to be trying to get one video out, at least a video out a week. Maybe two, depending on how many videos I can get done. So, I'm hoping that'll continue throughout the summer. And so, yeah, today I'm actually going to be doing two videos. I'm going to be doing the Sabobas Pod Racer and Tatooine Planet Piece set from the Series 1 line, and Naboo Starfighter and Naboo Planet Piece set from the Series 1 line. And both of those on the same day. I normally try to avoid doing more than one video a day, but I'm just going to do that for just today because I am very behind. I've still got sets from, believe it or not, Christmas. I've got a set from Christmas. And I still haven't reviewed it, and a lot of sets for my birthday still. I've still got the TIE Fighter, the Y-Wing, and I mean, I got, I think, all the new sets from 2012. Uh, I've only reviewed, like, the Planet Piece set and the uh, Battle Packs. So I'm really behind. And the Death Star Planet Piece set is the only other one I've reviewed, and you can check that out on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the minifigure in the Spobus Podracer and Tatooine Planet Piece set. Actually, before I do that, here's the information. Set number is 9675. It has 80 pieces, and it's ages 6 to 12. All right, the minifigure, which is Saboba, is this is the second time this figure has appeared in a set, I believe. And the other set it came in was actually a expensive, like, big set, $80, something like that. And, I mean, I'm glad this figure came in this smaller set because... $80, if you just want the figure, it's not a good deal, but I think this one was only like $15 or something. It's a very, very good deal. And I think the figure is not quite the only reason to get the set, but it definitely makes the set pretty cool. And he has very nice posable uh, arms, which double his legs in the Doug species, and then his legs carrying a wrench. And I don't think he ever really fixed and built his pod racer. I believe the pit droids, I'm sure, did most of the work, but he just raced it. So he is carrying a wrench, wanting to make some quick repairs, I guess. And then the next thing you get is the planet itself. I'm going to show the pod racer last. There's a very interesting thing about this planet piece is because you see the uh, dune seas or whatever these are. Con they're not continents. There's no water around them, but I guess you could call them that. A continent surrounded by a uh, sandy ocean. The neat thing is, you, I guess you can make your own continent because if I break the top off here and turn it, the continents actually will still line up. And, I mean, watching this bottom piece, the continents continue to change, but they always line up. So, I mean, I'm going to leave it like this now. The con Again, I'm going to turn it to here. You see this piece? I just simply rotate it, and it reconnects again. I think that's a really neat thing, the way they did that. I mean, I, I'm, that's a very smart idea, I believe. And all the continents, all I think there's four of them, and they'll all the way around, they all line up all at every rotation. So, it, it's a nice, smart idea, and I'm really glad that LEGO thought of that. I would never have honestly thought of that. So I think uh, it, it's a very nice idea. Alright, and that's probably my favorite thing about the set, yeah, I'm, I'm amazed because continents attach, but yeah, the pod racer is pretty cool too, and I think, I think these things on the side, they do move, like on the TIE Fighter, yeah, so you can move these up and down, not much movement, but you can rotate them like this, actually the back was rotating, you can rotate them like this, so, I mean, you can, wow, uh, apparently it's not as sturdy as the TIE Fighter, because that TIE Fighter was tough. I really like it. So, there we go. You can pose it whichever way you want. And you got the little stand here. Now, I think it will, yeah, it will stand up without, well, I guess it won't really stand up that well without this little stud here. And I'll show you that in a second, too. Um, and then you've got the little cabin back here, or the uh, pod, I guess, and it rotates, which is useless, I guess. But you do get, like, a camera piece in there if you need pieces. There's not too many... There went the engine again. There's not too many rare pieces. I guess these purple lightsaber blades could be rare. Uh, I know they came in, like, other past, uh, past pod racer sets. So, they're not unique. 
and then you have some binocular bricks. If you're just starting out and you have none of these nice pieces like binoculars or cameras, uh, I guess this would be a good set to get. So I'm going to break off this bottom piece here, which I think will, well, no, I won't. I'll just take this stuff off. This is the stand, which comes in every plant piece set. It has a printed brick, like a Star Wars, Zabobo's Pod Racer with Saboba and the Tatooine, which is pretty cool. I mean, you never really hardly get printed bricks anymore. And then you've got the stand for the, whatever this, the Pod Racer. And then you put the, like, the human, uh, the, um, what, Saboba. You put him right here. I can't, I forgot his name. I mean, us. And the only plate, the only thing you cannot put on the stand is the planet itself, and it tends to fall over and roll off the shelf very often. Now, it's, it doesn't break. There's nothing, well, there is stuff in it, but there's nothing valuable in it, I don't think. Uh, spare parts is all. So, nothing breaks, it falls off. And it does hold together. It doesn't break apart. It's very solid. You do have like a hanger, a little hanging piece here. And on the back of the box, I'll show you next. It's really neat. Which, let me just fold this up a little. The box itself here, the planet itself is actually exposed right here. Which is actually a neat idea too. I mean, you can look at the pan planet. And then all the stuff is in these bags inside the planet. So again, really neat idea. On the back of the box, it actually shows you tie string to the planet and hang it. Now, I'm not going to hang it because I like it just displayed. But... You can hang it if you want. Uh, the Series 1 line, and it has pictures of each of the sets up there. There's the set. Uh, no features, <laughs> except the hanging part. Then you've got Naboo and the Death Star, which I have both sets. Go ahead and definitely check out the Naboo one after this one, because I'm sure, unless you're just watching this after it's uploaded, um, the Naboo one is probably already uploaded. So, also check out the Death Star one, which actually I did earlier. Um... A while back actually so that's pretty much it for this review so thanks for watching guys please rate comment and subscribe goodbye